Hello everyone, good morning, happy Friday. Hello teacher. Hi teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning teacher. Go ahead and test your mic since all of us will need to. Uh, go ahead and uh, say hello if you wish. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good to see everybody. Or at least it's good to see your avatar. Wish we were face to face, but have to make the best of it, I suppose. Um, we're going to start here in a, just a few minutes. If you haven't already, please raise your hand, okay? Just as we did last week, I'll be choosing your names at random. And uh, I will be lowering your hands as I choose you, so that will help me know who needs to speak, who still needs to speak, all right? So please raise your hand. And looks like we have about 29 folks Okay, and I, I want to go ahead and get started because, again, I want us to have as much time today to allow to give you uh, to continue working with your teams on your second performance task, your performance task for Unit 2. And so as soon as you finish giving your response, you're free to leave the class and continue working. Now, I know maybe not all of your teammates will be available depending on the order in which everyone speaks, but... You probably can work on something uh, that you need to uh, continue working on. I would go ahead and go into your teams and into your groups and Microsoft Teams and just wait for your classmates to finish and enter into the same group to continue where you left off from yesterday. Again, make sure that you have a very good outline. I'm going to use the outline as I listen to and watch your video. So I'm looking at or looking for a good outline, good organization, and good detail, as well as your performance. All right, friends. Let's go ahead and start. As uh, we did last week, I'm going to ask everyone to keep your microphone muted until it's time for you to speak. Again, once you have completed speaking, you may leave the class okay of course if you want to stick around you can but um, I would rather you spend this time working on your performance task again I've extended the due date for the performance task uh, you'll have until tomorrow if you need it if you can finish today that's great but if you need an extra day uh, you can complete it tomorrow anytime tomorrow uh, is is fine so, uh, Andrea, Estefana, and Jesus, can you please raise your hands? I want to make sure everyone's hands are raised before we get started. There's a little icon at the top of your screen to raise your hand. Just click on that. It says raise your hand. You, all right, did you find it, Estefana, at the top? Next to show a conversation. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Again, listen very carefully to the question. I've left some tips uh, that I posted earlier, and so please keep that in mind. Again, you're encouraged to take notes. All right, let's go. I'm going to read the prompt twice, and here it goes. If friends from another country were going to spend time in your country... What city or place would you suggest they visit? Use details and examples and explain why. Okay, I'll read the prompt one more time. If friends from another country were going to spend time in your country, what city or place would you suggest they visit? Using details and examples, explain why. I'm going to give everyone one minute to prepare your response. You'll have one minute to respond when you're chosen to do so. So go ahead and begin preparing. Okay, let's begin now with um, uh, Stefana. Would you like to respond to the question?
Estefano, would you like to respond to the question? All right, we'll go on to the next. Uh, Mirna Jacqueline, would you like to respond, please? Mirna Jacqueline, would you like to respond? Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Um, Maria Jose, would you like to respond? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Well, I'm sorry. All right, thank you for your response. All right, uh, Monica, you're up. Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, here we have a lot of hotspots, but I want to recommend it, um, the Museum Descubre. Um, I think it's a really interesting place. Um, you can learn a lot of things about the history of Aguascalientes. Um, it has a lot of um, activities, dynamic activities for the kids, uh, for the adults. Uh, you can join it with your friends. Mm, actually, uh, in certain specific uh, moments, uh, it had the uh, different 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 topics, <laughs> for example, about the galaxy, about the. Um... Okay, thank you, Monica. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Next up, Gabby. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, ah, okay. It is a, a, a hard choice because in all the Republic, there's a lot of things to do. But um, I think I will recommend um, Aguascalientes and Zacatecas. But um, it will be like, um, I don't know, and la... Uh, I don't know how to say it. La Tirolesa in El Cerro de la Bufa in Zacatecas, um, La Mina del Eden, and here in Aguascalientes, <laughs> well, <clears throat> it is a beautiful city, but I, I don't think there's a lot of things to do. So, I don't know, I think those two states, but I would like to, to recommend Cancun or some beach. So, <clears throat> sorry, it is a hard choice, but I think. Okay, thank if... you. Thank you, Gabby. Uh -huh. Next up. Adan, you're up. Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Well, if my friend visit, visited my country, I will take that person to the south of Mexico. I think uh, uh, the south of Mexico has a lot of history, more than the, the north of the center of the Republic, because actually um, we, could, uh, we, could actually, we, we could also see uh, our, many archeolo archeological places. Uh, I think there are a lot of them. Um, the food, I think the best food in the Republic is in the south of Mexico. I haven't been there before, but 
uh, what I uh, what I have seen is that uh, there are uh, a great variety of, of those kind of things. Uh, the park, the park ex uh it's it's quite famous famous in in Mexico in the south, and we would we would go there. Um, also, okay, thank you, Adan. Next up, Maria del Refugio. You're up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would recommend to spend time in a uh, great time. Uh, it could be the town of um, Morelia in Japan. And I think it is a uh, good option because of the diversity that can offer you uh, when I have I had the opportunity to visit I taste a lot of food and I could see the variety of indigenous uh, customs uh, also languages Mm -hmm. I like also the geographic uh, location and it is because it, it can offer you when you go to the town. Okay, thank you, Refugio. You're welcome. Next up. Next up, Fatima. Here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Well, I think it's a hard choice. I don't know, but maybe I will take them to Tequila, a magical town that is here in Jalisco. Well, I think it's a great place. There's a lot to find. And actually, because I have gone once, but if it's to take a friend there, it would be not a problem. It would be great being with them. And there's a lot to like to do. Like, for example, in there, take a train ride or visit the main square or the National Museum there is in Tequila or the town hall. There's a lot to and I don't know. I think I will take him to there. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Fatima. Next up. Leo, you're up. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, so, well, I will take him to know my favorite places. For example, I love curry restaurants or cafe. I will also take him to the best places in my city. Um, for example, the Cathedral Parks, the downtown, Sierras, and the Fair of San Marcos. Go to the Broken Chris. But if they get to choose a city to go, I will choose Chiapas because it make a face full of nature and archaeological place that I like. I would idea will also be take it to any beach in Mexico because the vast majority are beautiful and full of many fun activities. And we will have many days to travel to the best places in Mexico so that I know my culture and where it was born because it's so interesting go to any places in Aguascalientes or Chiapas or any Okay, beaches. great. Thank, thank you, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Yeah, you're welcome. Next up. Next. Maria de la Cruz. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. If it were up place in the Mexican Republic in general, I would like them to visit 
Aguascalientes, of course. Some muses and things like that. I think it would also be interesting to visit Michoacán, especially in the reserve of the Monarca Beautiful. And I think that will be very nice. Or we could visit several magical songs together. It's all. Okay, thank you, uh, Maria de la Cruz. Thank you very much. Uh, let's You're see. Welcome. Next up, Elizabeth, you're up. Uh, Elizabeth Ojeda, go, go right ahead. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Well, the city I will recommend to my friends that came from another country. Uh, well, I don't know a lot of being like in a lot of trips, but um, I will suggest them to go to Acapulco if they, if they are coming in for summer vacations or just for summer or, or yeah, in, in that time of the year. Um, I only went once, but um, there are a lot of things that I, you actually can do there um, at the beach or um, at the pool, at the restaurants or the hotels. Um, actually, you actually, you can be like, um, um, well, passing like uh, a tourist and just um, getting to know a lot of uh, things and stuff, various places, food, and, and varieties, and, and buying, and little okay. stuff. Okay, great. Thank you, Ellie. Thanks. Next up, Yaisha. I'm here. So, I will take my friends to explore Guanajuato because Guanajuato has a lot of spots to visit, a lot of museums. First, I would like to take them to the Museum of Mummies of Guanajuato. And then we could visit also the University of Guanajuato because that university has a lot of architecture um, in, in the construction. And I think Guanajuato is one of the um, like the best place to visit in Mexico because of the weather. Because regard regardless of the weather, um, it, this is a beautiful city. It has um, really clean streets, and it's just really pretty in general. And I will also take them to. All the right. Tenants. Thank you, Yaisha. You're welcome. Next up. Nancy, you're up. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Um, I like to visit Chiapas because uh, I seen images from there and the country look be very beautiful um, and I think it's interesting and there is a lot of ancient medical culture there. Um, for example, um, I, I see in a, imagine the um, the wheelbar o el cañón del jabalí no sé cómo se diga um, 
and and really looks very interesting and I think it's a place with a lot of well of fauna and flora and I <clears throat> okay thank you Nancy next up Susie Yes, teacher. Um, okay, well, I have lived in many cities like uh, Aguascalientes, León, Pachuca, and uh, Mexico City, I said. Uh, but if you're going to visit Mexico, I recommend you to visit specifically in Mexico City because I think it has a lot of touristic places uh, with different activities. For example, uh, it has a lot of museums one of my favorites is Sumaya Museum uh, because it explains us a lot of um, Mexico history and uh, I like to go here also because uh, in front uh, in the mouth there's a, an awesome aquarium and I really enjoy to go here. Um, it has uh, a lot of places to go to walk like Coyoacán uh, city center and obviously uh, here are a lot a lot of beautiful places where you can have uh, okay. delicious food. Th great, thank you Susie. Yes, sure. Next up, Maria Fernanda. Maria Fernanda, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, I think that I will take them to uh, many places because Mexico is so beautiful, but uh, if I have to choose, I will choose Guanajuato <laughs> uh, because uh, it has a lot of places to go, like uh, the museum the, of the mummies and it has a lot of great churches and I don't know how to say it but the Museo de la Inquisición and it has a lot of places where you can eat and it's delicious and you can go to the minas and yeah it has a amazing uh, view of the of that state. I think I will totally take them to Guanajuato. All right. All right. Thank you, Maria Fernanda. Next up, Dana, you're up. Yes, Chair. Um, I will recommend it that you visit places like Mexican food restaurants, um, museums. Uh, I think your mic is muted. Uh, uh, okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> I will recommend it that my friends visit Places like Mexican food, restaurants, mm, visit museums. Maybe you could visit the historic streets in different towns in the country. Uh, they could enjoy a presentation of dances typical of Mexico. I also think they mm, could visit a Mexican beach because there are many cultural places to to visit her but i think the best idea would be to visit places to get to know and try delicious mexican food and places where you can learn about the culture and history of somewhere here in mexico okay thank you dana you're welcome Next up, 
Fernando. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, I think that uh, to invite my friend to to visit Aguascalientes uh, would be an amazing experience uh, because here within the city we have uh, many squares and many places and squares such as Altaria or Galleria and these are good places to spend time with my friend or my friends because we have several cinemas where we can see the best movies and we have also places with delicious food and there are also playgrounds where we can have a good day so this could be a good idea but if my friend likes outdoor activities we can also visit some magical towns in the city such as Calpillo or Asientos where we can learn a little more about their culture and we can also walk through the mountains, use the zip lines, and many other activities. Okay, thank you, so, Fernando. You're welcome. Next up, Jazz. You're up. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, for my answer, I choose three places. The first one is Oaxaca because people always is saying that it's a beautiful place uh, but i never be, been there so i can't say that it's true but people always say that it's beautiful in second place i choose guadalajara because i already been there and i can say that it's a really colorful place and you can see traditional products costumes and decorations everywhere and for my last option I choose Aguascalientes because I think it's the place that I know like the most because I live here all my life I've been living here so I think I could be a really good guy and we can uh, visit uh, many places here in Aguascalientes because we have a lot to activities to do here we have museums, we have first. Okay, great. We Thank have you, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next. Erica. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, I would like to take it to a beach because I think Mexico has the best beaches. And well, because I love the weather of the beaches here. And I would also like to take to take it to Mazamitla Forest, which is a municipality in Jalisco. Because when I went, it was a place that I liked a lot because there are cabins to stay there in the forest. And there are also people who give you walks through the forest and on those walks you can see wooden bridge and well for me the food there is very tasty and and i also think they have many beautiful crafts and that's it okay thank you erica next up lisette Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, if some international friend visit to me here in Mexico, I don't think I would I will go to another city. I will I would stay in Aguascalientes because it seems to me a very beautiful city. And what places that I take him? Uh, I would like to take him to the Garden of San Marcos, to the Walker Hotafani, to the Museum of the Dead, to the Walker Carranza, and also to the Juarez Market, because in that market you can find a lot of food and craft and all of all beautiful things that here in Aguascalientes do, and. And why I was calientes because 
for me, it's a beautiful city and a quiet city in which you can have a... Okay, a great. Time. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. You're welcome, teacher. Next up, Vanessa. Yes. Well, I will suggest that they visit Mazatlan because for me it's a great beach and where they can perform various activities such as uh, walking along the beach, going to the famous Mazatlan Lighthouse to be able to see the wood panorama from there, um, walking along the boardwalk, etc. Uh, besides, that is a place where you can relax and have a great time. For example, if you walk on the beach, anywhere you will find bands playing and people dancing and having fun with their friends or family. And I recommend this place because I went the last year and I had a great time with my family. And I visit the lighthouse, which is a very large hill to climb. And I also took a tour in some small cars. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Next up, Carlos. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. And so I recommend to my friends uh, two places, Chapultepec Castle and Chapultepec So. Uh, why? Because Chapultepec Castle is an ancient place that keep uh, history of Mexico, a lot of history of Mexico. And nowadays is one of the most important places here in Mexico, obviously. You can find items that people used in ancient times, for example, when, I don't know, Emperor or King Maximiliano and her wife Carlota uh, were here in Mexico. Uh, you cannot, uh, this is from Chapultepec Castle. Uh, we Chapultepec, so if you like uh, animals and nature, you can find and um, different kinds of animals like bears, giraffes, lions, real, real eagle, and other animals that you die. Okay, I great. Thank you. Fun. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> You're welcome. Next up. Jesus. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so I would suggest them to come here at my little town because I I think that would be really excited to me to show them where I grew up, grew up, and I think that we it would be like really interesting for them too. So I would like them to come in holidays, and because we have some strange traditions, like one day in January. We go to a place in the city, in the town, and then we buy some flour and throw it to other people, and it's like really funny. And of course, in Sundays, we have the tradition to go to the center of the town and to listen some good music, some Mexican bands and all that stuff, and have some good talks there. Of course, I would like them to go to eat some food like some special food from from my town all right thank you jesus yeah, you're welcome next up andrea yes i'm here go ahead well i think i will recommend our calendar because I know my city and I know which places I could recommend. Um, for example, I would recommend um, to my friend to come when we had the fair, for example, and I think there um, could be a good place to learn about different cultural aspects and also different time kind of food and enjoy the different concerts that we have. 
and in general to the different activities that we can do in that day, for example, in San Marcos Island that we have like um, the different mechanical games and the fireworks and I think it's a beautiful day to come and also take my friend to the different churches and museums that I think are so beautiful here in Huascalientes. So I think it's a place I would recommend. Oh, all right. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Next up, Nadeline. Okay. Um, I recommend that you go to Tequila Jalisco. Um, Tequila Jalisco is one of the magical towns of Jalisco. It has its history of tequila is made, is known for the production of tequila. The city is near the foot of the tequila volcan and is by fields of the main ingredient of the liquor. The blue agave, agave plant, the production process can be observed in several distilleries and farms. And it is very interesting to see the process apart from the fact that it's a very beautiful place and has a lot of landscape. Uh, you have consistence with people from another state and it's very fun and you learn to main think okay. about it. Great. Thank you, Nadeline. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up. Tanya, you're up. Tanya, you're up. Tania, are you up? Uh, do you hear me? You're up next. Make sure your mic is unmuted. All right, uh, we'll go on to the next person. Alexia, you're up. Yes, teacher. And so, um, so I will choose the city of Guerrero, um, especially the town Tasco. So I don't know if you have seen pictures, but but for me it's a really interesting town because it has a style colonial, and I love that kind of style. For me, it's so beautiful. Um, also. To recommend we see the teleferic, to see the city from from the distance, also the Chris Monumental, the gastronomy, and also I remember that is a feria called Yumil. So for me also is interesting and also it has a beautiful structure. And I recommend them to visit in Christmas um, for the lights. For me, it's so beautiful because it's a like old town. But okay, great. Thank beautiful. you, Alexia. You're welcome. Next up, Maria Jacqueline. Mm, yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. If my best friend came, he and I will go to a park or a zoo in Aguascalientes, or we will go to San Juan or another beautiful place in Mexico where you can find, um, no, where you can have fun. Because I think for me, they are places where you can have fun and have a good time with your friends 
For example, in a zoo, you can see many animals. And for me, it's very fun. In a park, you can enjoy many games. And in San Juan, you can try different delicious foods, except the cajeta that is very relevant in San Juan. Okay, but great. Thank you. After, Thank you, Jackie. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Monse. Yes, teacher. Go right ahead. Can you hear me? Uh, it's a little, it's kind of breaking up again. Yeah, I'm having a very bad connection. But can you hear me really well? Yeah, I, I think I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. I would take my best friend to San Miguel de Allende or Mazamitla, but this time I'm going for San Miguel de Allende. Because it is a place that I don't know neither, and I have been to handicraft stores and places like the Canyon Zip Lines, uh, the scenic mountainside for the city view. But the main reason why I would choose this magical town is because of the story, the history of the beautiful place that it offers to see and always enjoyed so much. I'm done. Okay, Monte, thank you. Next up, Maria del Cielo. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm, okay. Well, mm, I think I will recommend visiting the magical towns first so that they know more about the Mexican culture, such as Mazamitla, Tequila, and towns like that. Um, I don't know, maybe I will recommend visiting the Mexico City, but not only the, the city, if no, also the iconic places that tell a story about Mexico many years ago. And obviously, um, recommend to visit uh, the, the beaches like Cancun, Mazatlan. Um, I think that wherever they go, they will have a lot of fun. Okay, thank you, Cielo. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Paulina. I'm here. Mm, first, if my friends come from another place, I will tell them to come to Aguascalientes. I will tell them first to wait to the Feria Nacional de San Marcos because it's one of the biggest events of Aguascalientes. I will take them to the games, the cattle exhibition, and the area of foods. I will take them to the Hill of the Dead. When, But when the event called Illuminate the Feet of the Dead, because they they do that year to year, year with year, and it's a beautiful event. But even just climbing the mountain in any day, it will be fun and walk in the downtown. It's a good place to see the architecture, like the eagle of the cathedral, the churches, etc. And I will take them to the Heroes Park. Okay, great. Thank you, Paulina. 
Next up, um, Nelly. You can hear me? Yes, I can. Mm, okay. Um, I think Mexico have a lot of cities for visit, like Jalisco, Calvillo, in Aguascalientes, or Mexico City, but uh, I think Chiapas is one of the best place to visit uh, for its biodiversity. The fauna and the flora in Chiapas is amazing. When I went to Chiapas, it just was amazing. Um, exists, exists a big variety of indigenous people with different cultures. One of my favorite, favorite places in Chiapas is uh, the Sumidero Canyon. Um, have cocoa drives, but following the security rules, everything will be, will be fine. Um, in Chiapas, the food is very tasty and exists um, many natural places to visit. Okay. Just Th thank you, Nelly. Next up, Diana. I would recommend them this, to visit the pyramids of the of Teotihuacan because it's a place that have a lot of history for Mexico and it's an impressive place when you are there. And I think all the people who come to Mexico need to go there. I will also recommend going to the places where there's a beach because the beaches in Mexico are beautiful and they have many beautiful views. Another place that I will recommend to visit is San Miguel de Allende because it's a place that have a unique architecture. Everything is very colorful. They can take many photos in places and there are many cultural activities such as festivals or place in the street. And there's also very delicious food and it's a place where they will have a great time. And another place is go to Zacatecas, where at night everything is with lights and there are places in the street that are very Okay, great. Thank see. you, Diane. Okay, I'm sorry, Diana. That was Diana, right? Sorry. Yes, teacher. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Alonso, you're up. Um, yes, teacher. Um, I choose a magical town, which that is a ghost town, something different apart to the typical cultural places. And this is Real de Catorce in San Luis Potosí. In spite of being a cultural place, it's not a place full of tourists. And this place, we can make different activities like the Ogarrio Tunnel, La Casa de la Moneda, Hidalgo Square, and it is a historical town with natural places, not much people, and a lot of mines. So if you want different and beautiful place to go in Mexico, this is your town. Okay, thank you, Alonso. Um, Daira, you're up. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, if my friends come from another country to Mexico, I choose maybe Monterrey because Monterrey have many places to visit, like plazas and parks very precious. Um, maybe also Mexico City in the Zócalo and Palacio de las Bellas Artes because they are places very beautiful. Um, also the University in Mexico City, UNAM, because it is a huge university. Um, um, Guanajuato because it is a very cultural city. 
All the houses there are so colorful, mm, have many museums, and for example, El Pipila and other places, very precious too. Um, in Aguascalientes, maybe the center of the of the city because. Mm, okay, great. Thank you. Dai. Okay, you're welcome. And Sigrid, you're up. Um, well, if some friends from other countries come to Mexico, I obviously recommend visiting Aguascalientes because it's a very beautiful city with interesting places to visit. Uh, for example, you can go to the city center uh, because there are many good places to see there. Um, I also recommend visiting Puebla because it's a very great place. It has very beautiful and interesting touristic places. And um, you can visit the different museums that are there, which are full of history. And you can also well, uh, visit the magical towns such as Cholula, uh, Atlixco, or for example, here in Aguascalientes, Calvillo. And they can also visit the beaches like... All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sigrid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Great. All right, guys. Good. Um, much better job this time around than last week in terms of just how long on average everyone spoke. So as a group, we did better speaking, taking up the one minute. If anyone missed today's uh, speaking activity, I'll give you an opportunity on Monday, first thing, to, uh, to make that up. Let's go ahead now and break into our groups. We'll come back at 940. I'll be online if you guys have any questions. Uh, when your team is ready for me to look at your outline or you want some feedback about your outline, uh, let me know and we'll go in and talk with uh, each of your groups. Again, I would like for us to have a meeting that we discuss your outline and discuss your video before you actually do the recording. And again, the due date for this activity, I'll extend until tomorrow if you need an extra day. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, October 17th. All right, so I'll go ahead and mute my mic and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about today's task. Teacher. Yes. Just to like comment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Lo puedo decir en español. Okay. Yo hoy me preparé, teacher, y no me dejó terminar, teacher. <laughs> I know, I know. And I hate to interrupt because honestly, I really enjoy... Uh, your your uh, your experiences, your perspectives on on uh, Mexico, right? And unfortunately, Look at this. yeah, awesome. Are those your notes? Yeah. So did did you have did you read your notes or did you just uh, write them out and then no, speak like, freely? I was I was thinking what to say and I was like um, saying okay, San Marcos, yes, I will talk about the hill. I will talk about the centro and all that stuff. And I was like redacting what I was going to say. Well, that's a good strategy. What have you tried um, writing out? Because I, I, you, the paper that you showed me, the piece of paper, you had a lot of. It looks like you're writing almost sentences. Have you tried like either doing a mind map or an outline where you're organizing your ideas but using like keywords instead of like writing out a lot of details? Do you find that helpful, or have you tried that? I will. I will try it the next week if I, if we have like this same activity, on Friday the, of the next week. Yes, and we will, and we will. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I try that. I and I'm I'm glad, uh, and I thank you for sharing uh, your strategy, uh, Paulina, and and I think it's important for each one of you to experiment, try different strategies, right? So Paulina tried one way today; it worked well for her. I'm encouraging her to try a different way next week to see how that works, right? Because I felt like you were speaking freely and you actually didn't rely on all of the text that you wrote. So 
Um, but no. that's but that's a that's good. It's almost better to prepare and have too much, right? Than than not enough. Um, we're going to do this activity again next Friday. So again, I'm going to encourage all of you to take notes. Now, taking notes doesn't necessarily mean the same for all of you. It could be a mind map. It could be an outline. Uh, looks like uh, Paulina wrote out more uh, more notes, just kind of a free form. Uh, freestyle writing, okay, and that's that's great too. Just writing out the first thing that comes to mind, just to help prompt and remind yourself. Okay, what what do I want to talk about? One of the things, um, well, we'll talk about this when we close the class. I'll, uh, I want to talk about some of the specifics about this particular question, but yeah, that's great, Paulina, and thanks for sharing. And anybody who wants to share your strategies. I'm always interested and I think it's helpful for all of us to share what works for us, what what, what doesn't work, right? It's it just as important to say, well, I tried to write out notes this way and it, it didn't work for me, right? It, I need to try something uh, different, okay? Well, if I can say what doesn't work is what I do the past week mm -hmm. that I just like led to, I was the second person that talked. Mm -hmm. So I don't like have like a reference about the first person, mm -hmm. um, but I don't recommend like don't have nothing to like say. Yeah. Like here, like nothing to write, at least keywords, because I like the reason that I don't talk on the, a lot the past week is because I don't like like have nothing to say. Right. And sometimes it's just that you're not prepared. You haven't really thought about it, right? So, um, you know, it's the way our class works, right? Some of you are going to have more time to prepare than others. I mean, that's just the way the way it is. But write out, even still, write out different thoughts. And one of the things I want to focus on next week is for us to practice speaking more deeply about less things. Even in this example, I felt like, a lot of you were trying to provide too many examples instead of, or not too many examples, but too uh, many places, right? Instead of maybe just choosing one place and trying to speak as much as possible about, well, what what are some examples? What do we, you know, what are some nice things about this place and why is it important to visit, you know? And uh, that's something that I, I want to focus on next week and give you guys some practice in doing that. Practice speaking more deeply about less things. But yeah, thanks for sharing, Paulina. That's good. That's good. Uh, and I encourage all of you guys to, whether you share it with me and, or in class or you're sharing with your classmates, but um, especially the idea of note taking and preparing yourself and speaking like the trying to in, find out the organization. Like, what's the order? that you want to present your ideas, not just so much what you want to say, but what's going to come first, what's going to come second, and so on. And in your notes, if you take notes well, that can also help organize how you sort out your your information that you want to present. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Paulina. You're welcome, teacher. All right, guys, I'll mute my mic. Just jump right in if you have anything to say or if you have any uh, questions. Teacher, can I ask you something? Absolutely. Um, this Monday, uh, everyone are going to go to the university because, well, I say it, I think I say to you the past two weeks, um, I don't know if you can go to the university because we all like want to see our teachers. Okay, what uh, what were you? What are the instructions for you guys? What's um, what the, did you receive some uh, notification or? Yeah, we receive a email, and like I don't know how how many people, but ten, más o menos. <laughs> are going to go at one and the rest of them of us are going to go at 1:30 and okay. we're going mm -hmm. to like llevar acta curp este certificado o constancia y extranjeros pues lo 
lo que pida de documentos, pero no, no puse atención en eso. ¿Y ustedes eso. tienen como citas individualmente? ¿Cada, cada quien tiene su cita no. o vienen así como grupo? En grupo. En o grupo. sea, literal. Um, ¿Y van a, van a uh, control escolar o...? Creo que sí, creo no sé si alguien me puede decir dónde, pero creo que sí es ahí. Es que y, es el edificio 1A, creo que sí es control escolar. Sí, pero es no control sé. escolar, así es. Ok, entonces la idea es que juntar con los maestros ahí mismo o en idiomas o cómo, cómo es la... ¿Han no, hablado? ahí mismo, que sabrá Dios si nos dejen pasar a más para allá o no sé, no sé dónde, ni siquiera sé dónde está el departamento ese, profe. Ah, ok. ¿De, ¿De idiomas o de...? Bueno, control escolar es uno a... Y de nosotros, de idiomas, es edificio 211. De hecho, son tres módulos o tres edificios como pegada, pero los tres son de, de 211, como lado de, de la verca universitaria. No, pues aquí ya que están muchos um, de mis compañeros, si alguien me puede esperar, porque yo la verdad no sé, o sea, yo solo una vez pasé a la universidad, pero... Mire, yo, mire. yo, yo uh -huh. lo paso nada más, este, ustedes me, pues me dicen dónde, este, dónde van a estar, si igual puedo pasar ahí enfrente de control escolar, si quieren, pues, para conocer, para, to see you guys face to face, that would be nice. Pues sí. Um, as far as our class, como yo sé, pero seguimos igual con la, la, la clase, ¿no? En la mañana. Supongo sí, que, que, sí. que van a cancelar algunas materias en la tarde, supongo. Sí, ahora sí que creo que el problema es que, o sea, hay algunos que sí van a tener que, o sea, que viven creo que en o Zacatecas o que viven en otros lugares. Y no sé desde qué hora si ellos van a tener que salir de sus casas para poder llegar, pues, a la hora. Ah, ok. Bueno, pues, Entonces, este, yo sigo, pues, pues, con la clase en la mañana, 8 a 10, este, si, si tiene que salir temprano, pues, adelante o, ¿verdad? Y, y también los, este, de ustedes que, que no han presentado hoy, voy a dar la chance de tenerlo, pues, hacerlo igual el lunes a las 8. Y pues sí, pues yo paso ahí, si quieren, pues enfrente de control escolar a, a la, pues a la una voy a estar. ¿Sale? Ok, teacher. All right, guys.
Good morning, everyone. But I think the book is already in the files, um, in the tutorship page, uh, well, in the tutor tutorship channel. I think Liz already uploaded in there. It's called the Farlex English book.
All right, guys, it's 940. Go ahead and uh, wrap up today's class. Uh, we are concluding week eight. We're actually finishing unit two. And uh, we need to try to finish our performance task for unit two, preferably by today. If you need an extra day for, uh, for tomorrow, uh, I will give you that extra day to complete the performance task. The final thing to keep in mind when you're completing your performance task, organization of ideas, making sure that each of you speak in total around five minutes, but making sure that is it's as conversational as possible. Make sure that you're connecting ideas, that uh, the relationships between, let's say, the famous uh, celebrity or um, you know the food, the culture, the fashion, what the whatever topics you're presenting, that you relate them, you compare and contrast those to each other. You, that there's a a connection. Don't feel that you have to speak about a lot of information about each of your topics. Be very selective. Choose the most interesting, right? And uh, make sure, again, that you try to relate the concepts as much as possible. Trying to speak more deeply about less information. Uh, today we did our speaking activity. Uh, you will receive a grade um, in a few days for today's activity. We're going to continue next Friday and we'll have another speaking activity for a grade very similar to what we did today. Um, I want you to pay close attention to the way in which you took notes. Uh, generally speaking, as a group, I noticed right away that today uh, you were speaking as a group more than you did last week in terms of just the the time that you were that you spent speaking. So. Um, that's, that's a good thing. That doesn't necessarily mean that everything was organized, but at least you're speaking, uh, you're getting used to speaking longer. So again, reflect on your note-taking. I'm going to upload the video for today's uh, class, which will include your speaking. So um, once that's uploaded to our playlist, I recommend that you go back and listen again to your performance. All right. Sometimes it's hard to hear us uh, speak, um, but I think it's very important that you evaluate your own performance, right? How did you present the ideas? Did you include what you wanted to include? Did you leave out anything that you should have included? All right. And again, tie that into the notes that you took prior to your performance. All right, and um, yeah, we'll have class on Monday. Anyone who missed today's speaking activity will have an opportunity to present your your speaking, um, and we'll do that on Monday. I think there's just a few of you, so it should just take a few minutes to uh, give those an opportunity to uh, complete the activity. Make sure that you're checking your equipment as much as you can beforehand. All right, I know that some of the technological problems are outside of our control. But do as much as you can to test your equipment. Maybe experiment with using a cell phone instead of a computer. Maybe just uh, responding with your cell phone will be enough to produce a better audio or a better connection. So experiment. If anyone has issues with your technology and you want to experiment or check your equipment, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. If anyone is wanting or needing additional help in any of your classes, not just our class, but other classes, let me know. I'll be happy to schedule time outside of class to uh, work with you in small groups uh, regarding your, your classes. Okay. The main thing is that you're reaching out to your teachers, getting the assistance that you need as we are completing a half the first half of the semester today we're finishing half the course so we want to continue uh, working hard to uh, do the best we can and get and get the most out of our classes for the the last part of the semester all right guys any questions about the performance task that's uh, due tomorrow no.
No? Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, conclude then for uh, today, for this week. I hope you guys have a really good weekend. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you on Monday morning. Yes, sure. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Thanks.